So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Animate and uh, Adobe Photoshop tutorial and uh, before we will start I will show you what we are going to be doing today. Uh, so right now I am on the site FreePick and we are going to be using two FreePick files. One of them is going to be this one and uh, one of them is going to be this one. And I'm going to provide you a link in the description for both of them. And I'm also going to provide you my Photoshop file uh, in case that uh, this won't be free in the future or in case that uh, you want to skip the Photoshop part. Uh, so right now with this one, I'm going to click free download and I'm going to hit save. And you can see that uh, this is a JPEG. Uh, usually we have like uh, zip files from the free pick, uh, but in this case we have only one file. I'm going to hit cancel because I already saved this and I will go to the place where I have it and it is going to be in here. Uh, right now I will open my uh, Photoshop and I'm going to basically drag this uh, file to the Photoshop like so and I should have it like this. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I will click on my background and with Ctrl J I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to hide my uh, initial uh, initial layer. I just prefer to work like this that I always do uh, some kind of duplication. Uh, right now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so with Alt and uh, mouse wheel I will zoom like so and I will go to the I will go to the uh, quick selection tool so I will click in here maybe you have this ma magic wand tool so click and choose that you want to have a quick selection tool. Uh, this is not tutorial about quick selection so I'm not going to explain everything uh, but what I can do is I can uh, on the windows uh, hold Alt and then uh, right click and hold and I'm, I can drag like so. So one more time I can hold Alt, I'm holding Alt, I will right click and I'm going to hold the, the right click and then I can go to the left or to the right to scale this like so. And I will go maybe like this and I will click and this is going to give me a selection like so. Uh, then I will click one more time to get this part, I'm going to click like so and basically I want to... I want to get it like this. If you are going to click too much, like so, what you can do is hold Alt. It is going to give you a minus, and uh, then you can do something like uh, something like this. Uh, I'm not going to be really worried about uh, making the greatest selection. So basically, uh, right now what I'm going to do is, uh, while this is selected, I'm going to hit Ctrl J, and it is going to give me. Uh, I can right now uh, hide this layer one, and I will see that this is going to be. Uh, my new selection uh, in the in the new layer. Uh, now I'm going to create some other selections. So maybe uh, right now I will go, I will go to this one. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and uh, right now I will have to go to my layer one, and I'm going to create the selection one more time, like uh, so. And right now I will make it smaller, and I'm going to click like this and like this. And maybe I can zoom in a little bit and uh, do it like uh, so. If I, if I want, I'm going to check if I have everything. This part I do not need to have. So very quickly, I can maybe do something like uh, this. And uh, as I said, I'm not going to be really worried about it. So I'm going to hit Ctrl J and I will just uh, hide this one to check whether it's fine. And I think it's okay. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, maybe I'm going to... Uh, get one more of this so I will I will go ahead and uh, maybe go with uh, this one so I'm going to zoom in a little bit I will scale this like so and I'm going to click and uh, it didn't work because I was on the layer 3 so I will go I will have to go to the layer 1 like so and I'm going to click and I am going to make this smaller and uh, I am going to select it like so. And I am not going to be selecting the shadow uh, because uh, it would uh, look weird. So I am going to do something like this and I will hit Ctrl J and I will just make sure whether this looks fine. I think it's fine. Uh, now what I can do is uh, I can go ahead and get this uh, leaf. So I am going to zoom in a little bit and I am going to make this selection smaller and I am going to go to my layer 1 and I am going to click. This is going to give me the selection like so. Uh, I will have to zoom in and with uh, Alt right now I want to get rid of this part uh, like so and also this part. And now I will uh, add this. I will hold Alt and get rid of uh, this like so and uh, yeah. So basically uh, you you have to create uh, some kind of selection like so 
and I will make this smaller and continue like uh, like this and uh, yeah so right now I will check whether uh, this is fine uh, I think that it, look, it looks fine so I'm going to go to the layer 1 I will hit ctrl J and I will hide this to make sure and I think that uh, it's fine uh, it's like uh, if you would uh, do this for the print you would you will have to uh, create uh, the selection which are perfect uh, but if we are going to use this only in the animation and it is not even going to stay uh, on the on the banner but it is going to be only animating uh, it uh, really doesn't matter and the last one that I'm going to get uh, is this onion so I will go to the layer one I will zoom in a little bit and I'm going to do something like this and basically I'm going to uh, select also this one like so uh, when we are going to uh, get the selection on the second file uh, I am going to create a selection with the pen tool so you will you will see but uh, right now I want to finish this one, so I will click like so. With Alt I will get rid of uh, this part, and uh, I think that uh, this is fine. I'm not going to be, maybe I will get rid of it in here, like uh, so a little bit. Uh, but yeah, and I'm going to hit Ctrl J, and I will see how this is going to be looking, and I think that uh, it is uh, it is fine. And uh, yeah, I will show this uh, to make sure that I don't want to have anything else, uh, but I think that as we have it, it's fine. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I am going to uh, go to the place where I have saved my uh, second free pick file and I'm going to open this and this is going to give me a zip file. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose extract here. And this is going to give me also the Photoshop file and the JPEG file. And you can go ahead and try to uh, work with the PSD file, but uh, I think it's easier to just open it like so and uh, and uh, make selections uh, because uh, these things uh, can be uh, hard to get from the PSD file. But anyway, I want to show you uh, the selection. So uh, one more time, I will click on the background. I will hit Ctrl J and uh, I will hide the background and I am going to se select this. So I will get my uh, I will get my, my quick selection tool. I will scale this like so and I'm going to select it like so. And uh, this one, uh, it is not going to be uh, <laughs> very good because of this uh, edge in here. Uh, because it is not uh, all in there, but I'm not going to be worried about it. So I am basically going to uh, hit Ctrl J and uh, right now we are going to have something like uh, something like this. So yeah, uh, if you want, you can uh, maybe play with it, but I am going to stay with this as it is. Uh, so right now I am going to create a selection for uh, for this one and uh, this this would be a little bit uh, difficult with the with the quick selection so I will go to the pen tool like so and uh, in here you have an option to go with uh, path or the shape uh, I will go with the path so this is this will make me a uh, uh, selection so what I'm going to do is uh, I will go like so and I will click with pen like this and then I am going to zoom uh, move in like so and I will click one more time and I am going to have uh, something like uh, something like this and then I am going to continue so I will uh, maybe click in here like so and then I will click in here then I will click like so maybe I will click in here I can click and hold and do it like uh, this maybe and then continue like so uh, if I want, I can with control adjust this little bit like uh, this and uh, with alt I can uh, move only one of them. So something like this and I will go back to this one. So like so and I am going to continue. I will click and I am going to make uh, the selection like so. I will click maybe in here. I can hold to maybe do it like so and I am going to click like this. And uh, right now what I want to do is uh, I want to right click and I want to choose make selections and uh, I don't want to have any radius so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to have a selection like so and I'm going to basically hit Ctrl J and we are going to have a selection like uh, this. And right now if I want uh, because this part in here uh, I didn't have correctly so I'm going to hit E which is uh, eraser tool and I can get rid of this uh, maybe like uh, so. 
So we are going to have uh, something like this. And as I said, I'm going to provide you all of this in the description. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, in here, I am going to close this like so. And we are going to have only this... Uh, uh, we are going to have only these uh, selections and what I want to do is I want to create a new Photoshop file. Uh, so I will, go, I will go to the file, I will go to the new and in here I want to go with something uh, very small. Uh, so I will go maybe with uh, 200 by 200. And the thing is that uh, if you are going to go, uh, do something for the Google Ads or for other platform, uh, we want this to be a small size. Uh, so I'm going to scale everything down. So I'm going to do it like so. And uh, now what I can do in here is uh, I can put everything to the center like so. Uh, so we are going to have it together like this. And right now I'm going to select it like so. And I'm going to get it to my new file like uh, this. And it is going to be too big. So what I'm going to do is I will hit Ctrl T to go to the scale. And I'm going to scale this uh, down like uh, so. And I will zoom in a little bit and I'm going to position it like so and I'm going to hit enter. Uh, sometimes when uh, people are uh, scaling things down like so, uh, before uh, the scaling what they do is uh, uh, convert it to the smart object. Uh, because right now when we have scaled this down and if I right now I would uh, want to scale this uh, up, uh, this would make this uh, blurry. And if you would uh, convert this to the to the smart object, uh, it wouldn't uh, get blurry once you scale it up one more time. But I'm not going to scale this up, so I'm going to uh, go with something like this. And uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I will go uh, I will go in here and I'm going to uh, get uh, this one. So I'm going to put it uh, in here like so, and it is going to be too big. So I'm going to hit Control T and I'm going to scale this down. Uh, like uh, so. Uh, and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, save this Photoshop file and I'm going to provide you this uh, in the description. And this I'm going to, uh, this one I'm going to put uh, to the separated uh, file. Uh, so I have something like this and I can go ahead and hit Ctrl S and I will go to the place where I want to save this. So I will go in here and I'm going to create a folder which is going to be PSD and I will go inside of that PSD and I will call this maybe to be uh, Sushi and I'm going to hit uh, save. Uh, right now what I'm going to do is uh, I will go and I will open my uh, Adobe Animate and uh, we will try to maybe... Uh, get the whole Photoshop uh, file uh, to the to the Adobe Animate, but I don't I don't like to work that way, and uh, I will show you why. Uh, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate, and uh, I will go maybe with uh, 300 by 600. So I'm going to type 300 by 600 like so, and uh, I want to have HTML5 canvas frame rate is good as it is, and I'm going to hit uh, create like so. And uh, now I will go to the place where I have saved my uh, uh, Photoshop file. It is going to be in here in the PSD and I'm going to get it like uh, so. And uh, basically this is going to give me an, some kind of options. And uh, right now I have an option uh, whether I want this uh, as a bitmap image with editable layer styles or a flattened bitmap image. Uh, if you are going to have this one, you won't be able to do anything later on with them. Uh, then you have a, an option for the compression uh, when, if you want to lose it or, or lose less L, and something like that. But uh, anyway, if I'm going to hit uh, import like so, and I'm going to uh, position them uh, like this, uh, they are going to be a little bit weird. I will change my uh, stage background uh, to, the, to the black and uh, you can see that some of them uh, are weird like so and... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like it and uh, it look uh, very bad. Uh, so I don't like to work uh, this way and I'm going to get rid of everything like so. And I will go to the library and I will get rid of uh, also this. So I want to have like a clean animate file without anything. And what I prefer to do is uh, simply from the Photoshop uh, get this uh, one by one as a PNG. So I will get rid of the background like so and also like uh, this. So I want this to be transparent. And uh, right now, one by one, I am going to go to the uh, file, export, 
and uh, export S or uh, this uh, long shortcut. And this is going to uh, give me an option to export. And uh, I want to go with uh, I want to go with uh, PNG. And um, there is an option to have this uh, smaller file, 8 bit. And I don't want to have this because uh, this would make the uh, this would make the PNG bad, as we saw in the Adobe Animate. So I don't want to have this checked. And uh, just I'm going to uh, click export all and I'm going to I'm going to save this uh, like so. So I will go to the place where I want to save this and I'm going to create a new folder which is going to be uh, PNGs like so. And I'm going to maybe call this to be uh, number one. I'm not going to name uh, them right now. So I will just hit save and like so. And right now I can go with the second one. So I can maybe position this little bit to the center and one more time file. Uh, and you can go with the uh, export. And uh, there is an also option. Uh, you have export S or you have uh, state port web legacy. You can also go with this one. And this is like uh, almost the same. You can choose if you want to have uh, your PNG uh, to be 8 bit or 24. I want 24. Uh, so I'm going to hit uh, save and uh, I will have to go to the place where I want to save this one more time. So I have it in here like so. And I am going to save also this one. Uh, so right now I am going to skip this part and basically I am just going to uh, one by one uh, save uh, all of these uh, all of these files. Uh, so right now I have uh, saved all of them. And as I said, I am going to provide you this uh, this uh, Photoshop file. And uh, now I will go in here. And what I'm going to do with this uh, is I'm going to scale this. So I'm going to hit Ctrl T and I'm going to scale this maybe a little bit uh, like uh, so. And uh, now I'm going to hit uh, uh, C or I'm going to go to the crop tool. And basically I'm going to crop this uh, like uh, so. So like this, like this and like uh, this. And uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I will save this, but I will go to the file and I'm going to hit uh, save S. And I am going to, uh, I will go to the place where I want to save this. It is in uh, here. Uh, so I can go ahead and save it like so. And uh, now I'm going to export this. So I will go to the file. I will go to the export, export S. And I want this also to be PNG. And I'm going to hit export all. And then I will go to this place. And, uh, and yeah, I can just call it uh, like so. And yeah. Uh, now I will go to the Adobe Animate. And I will go ahead and uh, get my get my PNG. So I'll, I will go to the place where I have all of this and I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to get them uh, to the animate like so. And uh, right now they are all going to be in the library and they are all, all going to be in the in the one layer. And if I'm going to move them like so, uh, you can see that right now we are not going to have uh, that uh, issue that we had uh, before. But it, if you would uh, create your PNGs to be uh, 8 bits, uh, that uh, would be a problem. And uh, yeah, uh, this one is a little bit uh, bad, but as if you are going to make the selection from uh, <laughs> other uh, other place where it is all, uh, it, you wouldn't have something like that. Uh, so right now, um, one thing, if you don't see something which is outside of the stage, you can click this uh, clip content outside of the stage and you are going to see only what is inside. And if you are going to click it one more time, you will be able to see uh, other things. Uh, so right now, what I want to do is I want to click on the layer one. It is going to select me everything. And then uh, on one of these uh, photos, I am going to right click and I'm going to choose distribute to layers. And we are going to have everything to the separated uh, layer. Uh, now what I am going to do is uh, I will have to convert all of them uh, to the to the symbol one by one. So I will click on this leaf. I will go to the modify, uh, convert to symbol. And I'm just going to call this to be symbol one. I will click on this one, F8. This is going to be symbol two. I will click on this one, F8. And this is going to be S1. I, I will reuse this. Uh, so I want to... Uh, I want to call it like so, so S1. Uh, I will call this uh, to be S2 uh, and uh, this one to be F8 uh, S uh, number 3. Okay, uh, this one I am going to call this to be stick. I don't even know <laughs> if they are 
uh, named like so. And uh, this one, F8, I can call this to be onion, uh, like so. And I'm going to hit OK. Uh, so right now we have converted all of them to the to the symbols. And if you go to the properties, uh, you can see that if you click on uh, on them, uh, they are all going to be movie clips. So I will just click on them uh, to make sure that I have converted all of them to the movie clips. But it seems like uh, yes. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, I would like to go ahead and extend my timeline for everything. Uh, so I will go maybe to the frame 200. I will click like so with shift. I will select all of these frames and I will right click and I'm going to choose insert frame. Uh, OK, I will have to do it one more time because somehow I deselected. Uh, so I'm going to right click and uh, insert frame or you can go with uh, with uh, F5. And now I have this one a little bit longer. So what I can do is I can right click and I can choose remove frames to get rid of it like so. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, I am going to um, maybe change the color of my background. So I will click in here on the stage and I want to have something dark, but I don't want it to be completely black. So I will go maybe with uh, something like this. And uh, right now what I can do is I can uh, I can click this uh, clip content outside of the stage to see how this is going to be looking in the browser. And maybe I am going to uh, I'm going to scale some of them. So I'm going to hit Q and maybe scale this little bit down like so. I'm holding uh, shift and I can do the same thing uh, for... Uh, I didn't want to play this. I am going to do the same thing for this one. Uh, so I will click on this Q and I'm going to scale this little bit like so. And the same thing for uh, this one. So Q and scale this like this. And uh, this one, maybe I will also scale a little bit like so. So I wanted to get them from the from the Photoshop uh, as small as uh, possible, but I didn't want to get them too small from the Photoshop. So I prefer to uh, make them a little bit smaller right now. So I think that uh, this is uh, fine as it is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I will create new keyframe for all of them. Uh, so I will go maybe to frame uh, 70. I will select everything like so. I will right click and I will choose insert keyframe or F6. And uh, then I will go to the initial keyframe like so. And uh, I am going to one by one uh, position them outside of the stage. So I will unclick this so I will be able to see. And I'm going to position this in here. Uh, this may be in here and something like this. Uh, this one can be in here. This one like so. And basically all of them I want to get uh, outside of the stage. And uh, now I'm going to create classic twin. So I'm going to select everything. I will right click and choose create classic twin. And uh, and uh, it, it, it is uh, saying me uh, that uh, something of this is uh, not uh, classic twin. So let me go one by one, uh, create classic twin. Okay, uh, let, me, let me see uh, this one. Uh, okay, somehow this uh, seems that it's not uh, a movie clip. So let me see other one. Okay, so uh, all of them are going to be fine, uh, but somehow, somehow I have messed uh, this one. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to uh, basically uh, get rid of this keyframe. So I will right click and choose uh, clear keyframe or shift F6 like so. And I will go to this, uh, to this initial keyframe and I will click on this and uh, I don't know, I will click F8 and I will call this to be uh, S4 uh, and I will click OK and right now I will go in here F6 and I'm going to position it like uh, so and I'm going to create classic twin. So sometimes it can happen that the uh, animate for some reason don't recognize it or I don't know. Uh, but uh, we have something like uh, this and right now what I'm going to do is on these first keyframes I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to go to the classic is and I'm going to uh, choose this uh, easy out and I will go maybe with this one and this means that the animation will start very quickly and then it will slow down. It means that the, the animation has 70 frames uh, but uh, maybe in frame 10 they are already going to be uh, in here all of them uh, but they are going to then uh, animate very slowly. So I will go with maybe this one and I will see what we are going to have. So I'm going to hit control enter and this is how this is going to be looking in the browser. So we are going to have something like this. And uh, in my opinion, it is very, 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 very slow. Uh, so what I'm going to do 
is basically I'm going to get all of these uh, keyframes and I'm going to maybe position them uh, like so and I will hit control enter one more time and now we are going to have something like this let me see one more time uh, okay uh, I will go one more time to these uh, easings and I am going to go may maybe with uh, this one like so and uh, and I will see it one more time how this is going to look uh, I don't like it uh, still so I will maybe go ahead and uh, make this to be 40 and uh, yeah I will I will see so we have something like uh, this and uh, let me see it one more time it seems to me like the animation is uh, almost uh, linear I don't know why uh, but uh, yeah maybe maybe I can go ahead and uh, position them a little bit uh, closer like so so maybe we can see them uh, more earlier I don't know uh, we have to play with this and it's like when you are creating animation uh, sometimes uh, it takes it takes time uh, to find something that you that you like so wait let me see one more time but uh, I will go back to the Adobe animate and maybe what I'm going to do is uh, I will somehow change the easing uh, maybe I can try with uh, go with this one and I will see how this is going to be looking Okay, so I will go with uh, that option because uh, I, I prefer that uh, I like it better So I will, I will go back to the, to the Adobe animate and what I'm going to do is uh, now I will create the keyframe maybe uh, maybe in here so I'm going to click like so and click F6 and I don't want to have any movement in between and then I can go maybe uh, in here like so and I'm going to create a new keyframe and I'm going to position all of them uh, outside like so uh, as we had it before so very quickly I'm going to one by one uh, go like so and I'm going to select everything and I'm going to choose create classic twin and uh, right now I can go to this uh, keyframes and I can go maybe with uh, with this easy in so basically they will animate slowly away and uh, they, they then they will accelerate so I can go maybe with this first option and they are going to go like this and then they will uh, they will start slowly and then they will accelerate so I'm going to hit, hit control enter and I will see so we have something like this and then we have uh, something like this and I don't like it so I'm going to I accidentally open my after effects uh, but I'm going to make this animation a little bit faster so I'm going to position it like uh, so and uh, let me see control enter how this is going to be looking so we have something like this and then we have something like that uh, that's uh, too fast for me so i will i will one more time do it like so maybe what i'm going to do is i will go to these uh, first keyframes and i'm going to choose that i want to have uh, this one so i will hit control enter and i will see how this is going to be looking so we are going to have uh, something like this and uh, yeah I think that uh, it's uh, it's fine and uh, what I'm going to do uh, right now is I will go back to the Adobe animate and I'm going to create some kind of uh, text so I'm going to click uh, on the top layer and I'm going to create a new layer and I will get to the text tool and basically uh, I can go ahead and type in here type in here something like uh, quick uh, delivery something like this and I am going to change uh, the color of the font to be to be white and I am going to scale this little bit and you can go with whatever font you want I'm not going to be uh, worried about it so uh, we are going to have the first text which is going to be quick delivery uh, I'm going to call this to be in the layers to be text uh, one I'm going to create a new layer and I am going to uh, get the text and I'm going to type a uh, second text which is going to be uh, fresh ingredients <laughs> uh, probably I'm going to uh, spell it incorrectly I'm not I'm not sure about I'm not going to be worried about it and uh, I'm going to scale this uh, like uh, so uh, and uh, I am going to call this to be uh, text 2 and uh, then I'm going to create a button so I will create new layer 
and I will go to the rectangle tool like so and uh, if you go to the rectangle tool you are going to have this kind of option uh, this uh, zero means that you are going to have the edge like uh, so but if you are going to maybe change this to number 30 uh, you are going to have uh, rounded edges like uh, so but the, there is one issue that uh, once you create something like this you cannot change it if you don't like it like so you would have to delete it and go one more time and maybe choose that you want to have this to be uh, 20 25 so yeah that's a little bit uh, bad that you cannot change it later on but yeah and I will go with something like uh, this and I will go one more time to the text tool and I'm going to choose maybe the color of the background and I'm going to type something like all there uh, now something like this and I'm going to position this uh, like so maybe I can make the font a little bit uh, smaller something like this and uh, yeah uh, now I'm going to convert uh, this to the symbol so I will click on the text one I will click F8 and I can call this to be T1 like a text one I can call click on this one F, uh, F8 and this is going to be T2 text 2 and I'm going to click on the button uh, but maybe I'm going to change the color of the of the text I will click and I will choose the some of the color like uh, like so something like this or I, I can go ahead and uh, later on make this a little bit brighter so something something like this and I'm going to click OK and I will click on the on the shape and with shift on the on the text or I can just click on this layer 11 and it is going to select me both of them and I will click F8 and I'm going to call this to be button button and I will click OK and now what I want to do is uh, here is a place where uh, they are disappear they are going to disappear so what I want to do uh, right now is uh, get uh, all of these three keyframes like so and I'm going to position them uh, maybe in here and I am going to, uh, I can uh, animate them uh, all together. So I can go maybe to frame 125, uh, it depends. And I'm going to click F6 so for new keyframes. And I will go back uh, back in here. And uh, this one, I am going to with shift and arrow position a little bit down. Uh, this one uh, also I'm going to position down. And this one also I'm going to position down. And what I'm going to do is uh, on all of them I am going to... Uh, choose that my alpha is going to be zero and then I'm going to create a classic twin so we are going to have uh, something like this animating uh, from the bottom and with the zero opacity to the top and with the 100% opacity and I'm going to create some kind of easing so I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to choose that I want to have maybe this uh, easy out uh, it will start uh, fast and then it will slow down and I can go with this first option so we are going to have something like like this uh, but I want to I don't want the, them to go at the same time so I'm going to do something like this and uh, then I'm going to do uh, something like uh, this and uh, yeah we are going to have uh, this disappearing and then this appearing uh, but I would like to maybe position this little bit earlier so they are going to go away but the text is uh, coming maybe a little bit later so something like this that when uh, when all of this is going to disappear this is going to appear maybe even a little bit later so something like uh, this and then uh, I'm going to position this like uh, so so quick delivery fresh ingredients and then I'm going to uh, get this button and I'm going to put it like uh, like so and maybe what I can do uh, right now is uh, this button I'm going to position it a little bit down like so and uh, this means that uh, I will have to position also the initial keyframe down like uh, this and I'm going to put uh, some of the sushi or something in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and on this new layer I will go to the library and I'm going to get uh, some of the sushi so I'm going to uh, get it here like uh, so and maybe uh, I'm going to scale this down little bit like so and uh, I also want to have the, the leaf uh, so it's something that uh, or maybe I can go with this uh, onion uh, okay so uh, I can go ahead I can go ahead and get the, the leaf uh, it is uh, symbol one I 
could have uh, named it but I didn't and uh, I am going to create new layer and on that new layer I am going to position uh, this leaf like so and uh, now uh, they are uh, they are movie clip uh, because we have them from the library uh, so what we can do is go ahead and get the keyframes like so and uh, position them position them in here like this and now uh, one more time I'm going to create uh, new keyframes F6 and I'm going to on these keyframes position them like so and like uh, so and I'm going to create classic twin like this and I'm going to create some kind of easing so I will go uh, one more time maybe with this one and I'm going to position this uh, a little bit earlier so basically what I want to happen is this I won't have this quick delivery then I want to have these fresh ingredients I want the ingredients to come and then I want to have this uh, button a little bit uh, later and maybe I can create that the uh, leaf is going to come a little bit later so fresh ingredients and this one is going to come this one is going to come and then the button is going to come and I want this button to be a little bit more down like so and uh, yeah I can even position it in here and I'm going to hit Control enter and I will see how this is going to be looking so we have something like this uh, then we have all of them going away and we have something like uh, this let me see one more time and maybe one thing that uh, I think would be better is uh, to make this uh, quick delivery to come a little bit uh, earlier because it is, it's like uh, it has this good motion uh, if it is coming when uh, all of the things are leaving. So if I would maybe be able to do it like so, let me see. I will do it like so and I will have to maybe move also this one. So I'm going to position it like so. I will hit Control Enter and I will see. So we have something like this and then, then the text is coming when this is leaving. So we have something like uh, this and uh, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, right now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, stop this animation and I'm also going to show you how you can uh, export this animation. Uh, so right now by default this animation is going to be looping forever and what we can do is uh, create a new layer and we can go to this layer and uh, right click choose actions and basically I'm going to type something very simple which is going to be uh, this dot uh, stop uh, then uh, parentheses and uh, semicolon like so and with these arrows I'm going to close this and uh, this is going to give me a little A and I'm going to position this little A to the, to the end like so and this would mean that it is going to uh, loop once and after one loop it is going to stop uh, if you want your uh, animation to loop a few times and then stop uh, there is this uh, website I'm going to provide you link in the description and it has uh, this code it has uh, code which is this one and the code which is this one uh, they are almost the same but uh, there is like this sign which is like smaller or bigger and there is this equal uh, equal sign and I will go with this one so I'm going to copy this like so Control C I will go to the animate and I am going to paste this in here like so and I will uh, I will have it in here and the only thing which is important is this number it means how many times it is going to loop uh, before it will stop uh, so I can go ahead with number two and uh, right now it will mean that it is going to loop two times and then then it will stop uh, now I will go to the place where I have saved this and uh, probably probably I didn't save it uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to hit Control S and I'm going to place where I want to save this so I will create a new animate folder I will call this to be animate and I will go inside and I'm going to call this uh, sushi and I'm going to hit save and if I right now go to that uh, place to the animate I'm going to have my animate file and some recovery file and when I'm going to hit control enter uh, what is going to happen is that uh, it is going to automatically export me uh, my, my JavaScript HTML and some images in here uh, so I want to get rid of it so I'm going to just hit delete like so and I will go to the animate I will go to the file and publish settings 
and I will click on this folder and I'm going to choose the place where I want to save this. Uh, so it is going to be in here and I'm going to create a new folder which is going to be called index and I will go inside and I'm also going to call this index. It's not necessary, but I name it like so. And I will go in here to HTML.js and I will uncheck these hosted libraries. It is going to give us one additional file. So I'm going to uncheck this. I will hit OK. I will hit uh, file and I will hit publish. And now I'm going to have my index with uh, all of this stuff. And these libraries, it is what we have unchecked with uh, in, in the in the publish settings. And now what I need to do is uh, I need to I need to go uh, to the place where uh, I have uh, one code. Uh, so it is going to be in here. Uh, and I'm going to provide you a link in the description. Uh, but there is this uh, meta information that we need to put to our uh, HTML file. So I'm going to copy this and I will go to the to the place in here and I will right click on my index HTML and I'm going to open this with brackets. You need to have in your computer something which allows you to open a code. Uh, you can go with notepad, you can go with brackets, sublime text, atom. Uh, you have to go and download, download them. If you don't have anything, they are free to download, but basically you have to have something to open the code. And uh, in here, we have this HTML, this head, this uh, meta in the second meta, and then we have the title. And uh, between the second meta and the title, I'm going to paste this. I will change the width and height because my width is 300, which is fine, but my height is uh, 600, But so I'm going to save it, um, change it to 600 like so. And I will just hit uh, save. Uh, so if you are going to have maybe a space in here, it doesn't matter, but it's a good practice to not, don't have it. And I'm going to close this uh, and I will hit save and I'm going to, I will right click on my index and I'm going to choose send to and I will go with a compressed zip folder like so. And this is going to give me a zip file, which uh, should be uh, smaller than 150 kilobytes. It is. Uh, and uh, if you would have a problem with the uh, with the size, uh, you can go to the index, you can go to the images, and you are going to have these uh, images like so. Uh, this is something that I have, and I, I will show you. Uh, I have this, uh, but let me let me make this smaller like so. I want to show you that uh, this has uh, 68 kilobytes, uh, but you can go to this uh, website, which is uh, tiny PNG, and uh, this allows you to. Uh, put your PNGs in here. I, I can show you that I am going to put my PNG in here and it is going to compress me this by 19% without losing quality. And you would uh, download this and put it with the same name uh, in here to replace this and uh, that way you would have this smaller. And uh, in the Adobe Animate, uh, there is this uh, file publish uh, settings and in here you have export image assets and I have this as a texture and uh, that's why I have that uh, one PNG way which contains everything. You have other options, you can go ahead and play with it. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is it. This was a little bit uh, long tutorial even for me, uh, but uh, I hope that you have learned something uh, new. And uh, if anyone had uh, watched until the end, let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you like this, uh, hit the like. Maybe if you are not subscribed already, uh, consider to subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully I will see you in some other tutorials. Thank you. Goodbye.